Does a person remain conscious even after being beheaded? Does the head realize the body has fallen, or does the body realize the head is gone? To answer this bizarre question, the famous French scientist Antoine Lavoisier conducted a unique experiment. When he was sentenced to death by guillotine, Lavoisier made a special request to the executioner. He asked the executioner to observe closely. After his head was cut off, he would try to blink his eyes as long as he could. This would help determine whether the brain remains conscious for a few moments after decapitation. The executioner had never received such a request before, but he agreed. And when Lavoisier was executed, his severed head blinked continuously 11 times before finally becoming still. Through this chilling experiment, Lavoisier proved that some level of consciousness remains in the brain for a few seconds after decapitation. The executioner didn't hear any scream, he only saw the eyes blinking. This happens because once the head is separated from the body, it no longer receives blood from the heart. The brain then relies only on the small amount of blood and oxygen still present in the capillaries. At the moment of decapitation, the brain doesn't immediately shut down. Lavoisier might have felt a cold sensation in his neck, followed by the realization that he could no longer control his body like someone lying in bed with a heavy weight pressing down on them. Though pain exists in that moment, the brain's unresponsive state prevents the nerves from registering it. Finally, after blinking consciously for a few seconds, he passed away. Now imagine that last moment, when his head lay on the ground far from his body. What must he have thought, looking at his own lifeless form?